Hello students, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I will be discussing from chapter 17 to chapter 19 of Things Fall Apart. I hope you're liking these videos and I hope these are useful to you in some ways. If you like the videos, give them thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. See you on the other side of the video. In this lecture, we will be discussing chapter 17, 18, uh, chapter 17, 18 and 19. Um, and uh, we are on part two now which is significantly different from part one as you must have noticed in part one we were basically concerned with the inner life of uh, emotion people and now we are concerned with how um, the colonization the process of colonization actually began and how it spread throughout uh, the african villages and what were the strategies that were employed uh, for this uh, for this kind of strategic um, you know spread and we also get to see that some in some places in some parts um, the strategy of violence is um, uh, you know um, employed uh, while in others uh, it's a lot more um, non-violent and ideological means are uh, adopted there is this uh, all uh, there is this uh, Marxist philosopher and his name is Althusser and he has written this book called um, state and uh, no what's the name of the book um, I've forgotten the name of the book. Uh, okay, I'll I'll just quickly Google it and then let you know. Let me Google it. Ideology and ideological state apparatuses. Okay, so he has basically written this book, Ideology and Ideological State uh, Apparatuses, and in that book, he talks about how um, repression is um, created and how it is maintained in different parts of the world. And he is basically uh, concerned with state apparatuses, like how a state uses repression, coercion, and non-violent uh, means in order to establish state control um, and he says that there are two kinds of apparatuses at work okay i think i talked about it in one of my previous lectures as well uh, when we were uh, discussing poetry but it it may be applied here as well in 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 this uh, text as well because as uh, uh, you know that uh, there are uh, you know from uh, in, in various uh, chapters and various parts of uh, Africa as shown here some of the strategies they are very very uh, openly violent such as the destruction of a bane take it whereas the other um, strategies that are used are very very ideological in nature and in the last lecture in chapter um, 16 we noticed how um, the missionaries they uh, go to Mabanta and in Mabanta they, they they talk about their religion and they uh, try to convince the people of Mabanta to you know convert to Christianity because it is a lot better religion than the one that they were following so that's ideological um, uh, you know conditioning or ideological apparatuses that are being used there and Althusser is of the view that mostly um, ideology works very well in these contexts and usually it's very rare to use physical force for um, uh, you know for 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 the spread of um, straight control or for the establishment of the state control and for its perpetuation usually 
uh, ideology is enough to keep people, you know, bound and to, and to convert people from one uh, mindset to another. But sometimes violence is also required and it is used. So, you can see in this place, in context, mein, both violent apparatuses, yani ke physical apparatuses, and uh, ideological apparatuses, both of them are at work, right? Achha. Now the people, now the missionaries, now come back to the chapter. When the missionaries come to Mavanta, they have a particular uh, request for, um, uh, for for the people of Mavanta, and they ask them for a piece of land so that they can live there. Okay, and what do what do the people do? They give. They they are not obviously nobody's you know uh, very ready to give them the land. Okay, nobody does that. कोई भी आसानी से आपको रहने की जगह तो नहीं दे सकते देता था ना विदाउट एनी रिटर्न विदाउट एनी कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज तो वट डू दीज पीपल डू दे गिव दैम द ईवल फॉरेस्ट नाउ वट इज द ईवल फॉरेस्ट वट इज एसोसिएटेड विद इट हाउ हाउ वेल नोन इट इज इन दैट सोसाइटी क्या है क्या नहीं है आपको ये खुद देखना है ठीक है लॉर ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्शन इज गिवन इन द चैप्टर जस्ट रीड इट केयरफुल and these people they very readily uh, give these uh, missionaries that that piece of land evil forest why because these people believe that the evil forest is naturally uh, you know cursed and it's a cursed place and nobody can actually live there their 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 uh, you know uh, belief in their religion is so strong that they believe that anybody who would dare live in that evil forest would be struck um, you know dead or they would be they would just perish if they enter the evil forest ye unka ek superstitious kism ka khayal tha so they just banish these people to the evil forest and aapas mein bada hasre hote hain ki ha ha jab ye log ja ke rahenge to tab inko samajh aayegi ki evil forest mein hota kya so what do they say let us give them a portion of the evil forest they boast about victory over death let us give them a real battlefield in which to show their victory so real battlefield kya hai wo evil forest acha so and they were thinking that uh, you know after a few days kya hoga evil forest jo hai wo inko ya to tabah kar dega they would they would you know just they would be destroyed they would they would be set on fire pata nahi kya hoga lekin ye log mar jayenge theek hai so they want people to live there these missionaries to live there and they are very silently and very curiously watching these newcomers ab hota kya hai ki obviously it's just a piece of land usme koi curse wagaira kuch bhi nahi hai ye to sara un logon ke khayal mein hai na so many people have these superstitious kinds of uh, you know beliefs hamare apne bahut sare hote hain ke billi aage se guzar jayegi to pata nahi kya hoga ye hoga wo you know is tarah ki baatein तो असल में उस उसका रियलिटी के साथ तो कोई ताल्लुक नहीं है सो द मिशनरीज दे वेरी कंफर्टेबली सेटल इन दैट ईवल फॉरेस्ट ठीक है और आराम से उन्होंने वो अपना चर्च चर्च बना के वहाँ पे रह रहे हो एंड दीज पीपल दे आर जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर समथिंग टू हैपन वेटिंग एंड वेटिंग एंड वेटिंग बट नथिंग हैपन्स तो वो कहते हैं कि यार ये क्या हम लोग तो हमें तो ये बचपन से हमें ये सिखाया जाता है कि कुछ हो जाएगा कुछ होगा वहाँ पर कोई भी नहीं जा सकता इट्स कर्स्ट इट्स इट्स ईवल ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ स्पिरिट्स लिव दे कुछ भी नहीं होता सो एट द एंड ऑफ दू नो बाय बाय द टाइम दैट डेड लाइन इज ओवर क्या होता है कि बहुत सारे लोग जो होते हैं आर ऑब्जर्विंग दिस फिनोम वेरी वेरी क्लोजली वर है दे आर कन्विंस कि हमारा रिलीजन जो है ना वो मतलब उसमें कोई इतना खास मतलब इट्स नॉट लॉजिकल इट्स नॉट रैशनल ठीक है बिकॉज रैशनली ऑब्वियसली देर वॉज नो एक्सक्यूज Uh, not to live in in that evil forest. So at last the day came by which all the missionaries should have died, but they were still alive, building a new red earth uh, and thatch house for their teacher, Mr. Kiaga. That week they won a handful more converts. ठीक है जब लोगों ने देखा आपको पता है कि you know there there is this segment of society in each society in every single society there is this segment of Uh, you know people there there are certain people who are very um, uh, uh, they are very critical of their religion and their traditions okay matlab ke sochne ki salahiyat to allah taala ne sabko di hai na so every in every society there are people who question their religion 
ठीक है और द रिलीजियस बिलीव दैट आर प्रेवलेंट इन सोसाइटी ठीक है और द ट्रेडिशनल बिलीव और सुपरस्टिशन एंड एवरी थिंग सो दे हैव दिस गिफ्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चनिंग थिंग्स ठीक है दे आर रैशनल पीपल दे आर इंटेलेक्चुअल पीपल दे क्वेश्चन दीज ट्रेडिशन तो जैसे कि आप देखिए कि अमरीका भी था वो ही इन फोर्थ और फिफ्थ चैप्टर ही वॉज कंटिन्यूसली क्वेश्चनिंग द ट्रेडिशन के इस ट्रेडिशन का क्या मतलब है वाई इज दिस प्रैक्टिस वाई डू वी हैव टू फॉलो इट इट्स सो इैशनल इट डजेंट मेक सेंस एंड इट्स सो स्टूपिड तो उस तरह के लोग होते हैं देन देर आर पीपल लाइक न बोए who are just sick and tired of the injustices of their society and their beliefs okay who are sick and tired of you know seeing people being trampled on they are sick and tired of seeing people being mistreated being marginalized being being attacked and things like that to ye wale jo log hote hain they they are also very very ripe for change okay they want change to so, zara sa bhi they just need a little bit of push to go to the other side तो इस तरह के जब वाकयात हो रहे हैं जब पता चल रहा है कि पीवल फॉरेस्ट में कुछ भी नहीं है तो दीज पीपल दे वेरी रेडिली एम्ब्रेस द अदर रिलीजन ठीक है तो इस तरह के जो सोसाइटी के लोग इस तरह के जो सेगमेंट के लोग हैं वो आके बहुत ज़्यादा कन्वर्ट हो रहे हैं ठीक है हाँ सो नोट द काइंड ऑफ पीपल हु आर द फर्स्ट वन टू एक्सेप्ट द न्यू रिलीजन अच्छा एक तो ऐसे लोग हैं पीपल हु आर लाइक इनक्विजिटिव एंड पीपल हु आर रैशनल एंड दे हैव देर रैशनल साइड completely awakened and then there are another kind of uh, people who are the first ones to join the other uh, the other uh, uh, other team keh le ya other other uh, part of the you know society ya uh, the newcomers wo kon hai people who have been mistreated theek hai ek to na wo hai jaise log hain who have seen this uh, mistreatment and this misconduct and this disc- discrimination and all these you know injustices एक तो वो लोग हैं अमेरिका है नवोए हैं एक तो वो सेगमेंट है एक सेगमेंट वो होता है द पीपल हु आर कम्प्लीटली डिसरिगार्डेड बाय द सोसाइटी आई हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट सच पीपल फॉर एज वेल इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स ठीक है दीज आर द पीपल हु आर मार्जिनलाइज ठीक है दीज आर द पीपल हु आर थ्रोन अवे बिकॉज ऑफ बिकॉज ऑफ देयर आइडेंटिटीज हमारे हमारे सोसाइटी में आप देखें कि ट्रांसजेंडर्स वी कॉन्शियसली Uh, uh, marginalize them. We know that it is wrong. We know that it is wrong to mistreat them. We know that it is wrong to, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, behave with anyone in the manner that we behave with them. But still, we marginalize them. Still, we don't do anything. Still, we are okay with the kind of jobs that they are, you know, forced to take. With the kind of, um, um, you know, marginalized status that they have, yet nobody speaks about it because we are not affected by it directly. So, what is the need for us to talk about it? ठीक है सो दीज पीपल वेन दे सी एन अदर अपॉर्चुनिटी एन अदर पॉसिबिलिटी टू हैव अ लाइफ दैट इज लेस मेजरेबल दैट इज एनी लेस यू नो अनजस्ट तो दे आर द फर्स्ट वन टू गो टू दैट अदर साइड टू ठीक है जब आप देखें कि इस्लाम भी जब आया था तो वो इसी तरह के लोगों ने ज़्यादातर उसको एक्सेप्ट किया था पीपल हु वर लुकिंग फॉर जस्टिस ठीक है पीपल हु वर लुकिंग फॉर इक्वालिटी पीपल हु वर लुकिंग फॉर अ बेटर डिसेंट लाइफ स्टाइल ठीक है तो यही होता है सो दिस वॉज द अपील ऑफ क्रिस्टानिटी टू ठीक है तो एंड यहाँ पे देखिए लिखा है कि एंड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दे हैड अ वुमन हर नेम वॉज नीका द वाइफ ऑफ अमादी हु वॉज अ प्रॉस्परस फार्मर शी वॉज वेरी हैवी विद चाइल्ड नाउ दिस वॉज अ प्रेगनेंट वुमन ठीक है एंड शी ऑल्सो कन्वर्टेड टू क्रिस्टानिटी नीका हैड फोर प्रीवियस प्रेगनेंसीज एंड चाइल्ड बर्थ बट ईच टाइम शी हैड बॉर्न ट्वेंस and they had been immediately thrown away her husband her uh, and his family were already becoming very highly critical of such a woman and were not unduly uh, perturbed when they found she had fled to join the christians theek hai to wo because she had seen her children being murdered theek okay? uh, hai because in that uh, society you know, twins were considered to be evil theek okay? hai she was just she didn't want kisko pasand hota hai ki aapke bachche ko utha ke is tarah se maar diya jaye theek hai aapke chote bachche ko so she was just sick and tired of that um, you know um that behavior of of her society and she thought that maybe if i join christianity i will be spared by this kind of behavior and my my children will be able to live theek hai so she for phir bhi yahan pe bhi wo same hi case hai ki she was looking for justice and that's why she joined christianity 
अच्छा जी अब आ जाते हैं नवोए के ऊपर ठीक है वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द मोटिव्स फॉर सच अ कन्वर्जन ठीक है अब कर वन कन्वर्जन को हमने देख लिया कि उसके मोटिव्स क्या क्या हो सकते हैं व्हाट काइंड ऑफ पीपल ज्वाइन ठीक है अ न्यू रिलीजन व्हाट व्हाट आर द रीजंस फॉर व्हिच पीपल मे यू नो लीव देयर प्रीवियस लाइफस्टाइल प्रीवियस रिलीजन प्रीवियस रिलीजियस यू नो आइडेंटिटीज तो अब क्या हुआ कि वी नीड टू सी हाउ नवोए हाउ नवोए एंड वाई नवोए एक्सेप्ट क्रिस्टैलिटी आपने पढ़ना है उसका नवोए की कन्वर्जन और जब उसको खबर मिलती है कौनको को कि नवोए हैज़ कन्वर्टेड टू क्रिस्टैलिटी हाउ डज हाउ डज कौनको बिहेव ठीक है उसका ज़रा सही तरह से आप पढ़िए और आपको पता चलेगा द काइंड ऑफ यू नो antagonism there is um between novoi and a konko theek hai and how repressive a konko is matlab usko pakad ke maarna shuru kar deta hai how novoi behaves theek hai kis tarah se wo uska reaction kya hai how konko behaves there is there is a huge you know uh, fight fight to nahi kahenge uh, only a konko is beating novoi but um uh, at the end of that fight uh, at the end of that beating novoi goes to mr kiaga and ही कन्वर्ट्स टू क्रिस्टैलिटी पहले वो कन्वर्ट नहीं हुआ था ही वॉज जस्ट ही वॉज जस्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट कन्वर्जन और उसके बाद को पता चल गया था बट वैन अकॉन को बीट्स हेम तो वो एज अ एज अ वे टू रिपेल यू नो अगेंस्ट इज फादर तो वो उसको जाके वो क्रिस्टैलिटी को एक्सेप्ट कर लेता ही वेंट बैक टू द चर्च एंड टोल्ड मिस्टर की आगा दैट ही हैड डिसाइडेड टू गो टू नोफिया वेयर द वाइट मिशनरी हैड सेट अप अ स्कूल टू टीच यंग क्रिस्चन टू रीड एंड राइट ठीक है ये काम हुआ so this is also very interesting uh, you see um there is this antagonism between uh, a konko co- father and a konko okay an oka and a konko thinking okay, a konko jo hai he has always hated his father for the kind of person he was an oka was a very different person he was very you know polite he was very laid back he didn't care much about society and its views he was very unconventional he was very light hearted uh he was very lazy as well take us ke uske negative uh, be aspects hain usme traits uh, hain he was very lazy he didn't care much about his family he never wanted you know he couldn't he couldn't ever support them properly uh there was a lot of starvation going on things like that theek hai ab ye dekhiye Okay, the same thing happens with Akonko. His son also hates him. Okay, Akonko का जो बेटा है वो भी उससे उतनी नफरत करता है जितना Akonko अपने बाप से करता था. So um, that's very very interesting, right? Um, now uh, we have to keep in mind. that um from a, from from psychoanalytic psychoanalytic perspective it's extremely extremely um important we can discuss it in a class in a live class if we want to but i want you to look at it look into it yourself as well acha ek minute now that a uh, boy has gone um and he has converted to christianity uh anoka is uh, sorry konko is very ek minute let me just see what's the time all right okay so now that uh, novoy has gone and um Uh, Konko is sitting in his hut and he's thinking about everything that has gone wrong with it, t- wrong with his life, and why Navoy has converted to Christianity. उसको नहीं समझ आ रही कि Navoy किसने क्यों उसने convert किया, convert हो गया है. Although the uh, the reasons are very clear to us, ठीक है? We as outsiders can see and judge very clearly that Konko has been very harsh, overly harsh with his son. थ्रू आउट हिज लाइफ ठीक है अमरीका ने भी कॉन्को को यही कहा था कि यू आर जस्ट सो इन रैशनली यू नो हर्श 
with your son and he's just a little boy but we're just you know hell bent on changing him and things like that but Konko never you know listened to that he was so afraid of being like his father that he thought that his, his son would also uh, you know be like his father too yani ke and a boy would would turn out to be like anoka to usne usko itni uske sath sakti ki itni sakti ki at the end of the day um, the boy was just you know he just couldn't take and take it anymore ab yahan pe baith ke kaun ko jo hai wo is sari cheez ke bare mein soch raha as a kaun ko sat in his hut that night gazing into a log fire he thought over the matter a sudden fury rose within him and he felt a strong desire to take up his mashat go to the church and wipe out the entire vile and miscreant gang theek hai yahan pe bhi wo ye keh raha hai ki main apni mushat lunga main sab ko khatam kar dunga ye kar dunga wo kar dunga theek hai but on further thought he told himself that no boy was not worth fighting for now this is very important no boy ke bare mein wo sochta hai he is filled with anger and why is he filled with anger because obviously he loves his son theek hai but he is not ready to admit it even to himself ठीक है वो कहते हैं कि ये ना हो कि मैंने एडमिट कर लिया तो मेरी जो मैस्कुलिनिटी है उसमें कोई फ़र्क ना पड़ गया राइट तो वो ही इज सो अफ्रेड ऑफ एडमिटिंग इट टू हिमसेल्फ एज वेल एंड ऑब्वियसली ही इज एंग्री ही इज सो फ्यूरियस अबाउट इट येट ही इज वॉट इज सेंग वॉय वॉज नॉट वर्थ फाइटिंग फॉर यानी कि मेरे वॉय के बारे में सोच सोच के जल के राख हो जाऊँगा लेकिन मैं उसके बारे में ये एडमिट नहीं करूँगा कि वॉय इम्पॉर्टेंट है and this is so strange obviously he is his son and he is important to him that is why he is thinking so much about him lekin nahi wo admit nahi kar sakta theek hai why he cri- why he cried in his heart should he a con go of all people be be cursed with such a son matlab ki mere meri aulaad aisi kyun paida ho gayi theek hai he saw clearly in it the finger of his personal god or chi again the superstition ki ha meri luck hi kharab hai for how else could he explain his great misfortune and exile and now his despicable son's behavior okay okay wo kehta hai ki mere sath to kuch acha hota hi nahi hai now that he had time to think of it his son's crime uh, stood out in its stark enormity to abandon the gods of one uh, of one's father and go about with a lot of effeminate men clucking like old hens was the very depth of abomination suppose when he died all his male ch- uh, children decided to follow no voice step and abandon his, their ancestors theek hai wo usko pareshani lag gayi hai ki you know i have been working so hard to make a name for myself in this world what if after no boy everyone else starts you know converting to christianity to what will happen then you know he's so worried about it ठीक है और वो कहते हैं कि ये देखो ये ये क्या ये दिस इज द बिगेस्ट क्राइम एनी वन यू नो कुड है बिकॉज फॉर अकाउंट को जैसे कि मैंने पहले भी आपसे बात की थी इन वन ऑफ द यू नो फॉर वन ऑफ द वेरी फ्यू लेक्चर्स ऑन थिंग फॉल अपार्ट दैट फॉर अकाउंट को ट्रेडिशन मीन्स एवरी थिंग बिकॉज इट वॉज दैट ट्रेडिशन इट वॉज दैट वर्ल्ड व्यू इट वॉज दैट वे ऑफ लाइफ दैट एक्चुअली you know um made it possible for konko to you know rise up above every other man in his society to uske liye ye bahut sara is ye code of conduct ye sari cheeze ye bahut important right and he believes that novoy is just being so foolish and he's being so strange for you know abandoning everything and going after these uh, these these white men konko felt a cold shudder run through him at the terrible prospect like the prospect of annihilation so like i think i we believe that our our whole our whole tradition will just go to ashes you know it will be just burnt and burnt down and it will be replaced by another culture another world view and that was just so terrifying for him he saw himself and his father um, crowding uh, cr- crowding around their uh, ancestral shrine waiting in vain for worship and sacrifice and finding nothing but ashes of bygone days and his children um, the while i think there is something missing here praying to the white man's god ab yahan pe dekhiye ki for the first time he has actually um, you know felt a solidarity uh, with his father ठीक है पहली दफ़ा यहाँ पे ये हिज फादर है हिज फादर इज नहीं हिज नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल ऑफ हिज एंसेस्टर्स इज टॉकिंग अबाउट हिज हिज फादर ओनली के ही हेज फेल दिस सॉलिडेरिटी एंड दिस यूनिटी विद हिज फादर आप देखिए कि ही हैड ऑलवेज ट्रीटेड हिज फादर विद एंगर ठीक है एंड विद डिस्गस्ट 
एंड वो इज डूइंग द सेम थिंग ठीक है एंड अब उसको एहसास हो रहा है कि मैं मैं जब मर जाऊँगा और मैं वहाँ पे वेट कर रहा हूँ मेरे बाप के साथ में वहाँ पे खड़ा होगा एंड वी वुड जस्ट बी वेटिंग एंड वेटिंग एंड नो बडी विल सेंड एस एनी ये बिल्कुल हमारे इस तरह इस्लाम में भी है ना कि वी सेंड सदका एंड दुआ एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट फॉर आर इंसेस्टर्स एंड आर यू नो फोर फादर्स एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट तो वो कह रहे हैं कि हम लोग वेट कर रहे होंगे वेट कर रहे होंगे और ना ही कोई सदका आएगा ना कुछ आएगा वट विल बी दू नो रीज़न फॉर ऑल दैट एंड ही इज़ जस्ट सो टेरीफाइड by this and he is just so uh, afraid and he is so angry if such a thing were to were ever to happen he kon ko would wipe them off the face of the earth again wo ye keh raha hai ki main ko qatl kar dunga main ye kar dunga hamesha se like a kon ko has always been a very violent man theek hai he is a very aggressive man to iske liye bas har cheez ka hal yahi hai ki sab ko qatl kar dena right so that's what he has been saying all along and to be honest here he is very right I think that was the only way to deal with these people. Akonko was Akonko was pop, popularly called the Roaring Flame. As he looked uh, into the fire, uh, log fire, he recalled the name. Acha Akonko ka to title tha ye, chhiye Roaring Flame. He was a flaming fire. How then could he have begotten a son like Navoy, regenerate and um, effeminate? Perhaps he was not his son. No. he could not be his his wife had played him false he would teach her but navoy resembled his grandfather anoka who was a conquest father he pushed the thought out of his uh, mind yaha pehle to usne apni biwi ko blame karne ki koshish ki hai theek hai jaise ki uska watira tha to blame everything on his wife but phir usko yaad hai ki mera baap bhi aisa hi tha so phir wo dobara usko yaad hai and then he, he quickly like he didn't entertain that thought uh जल्दी से उसने कहा कि नहीं नहीं ऐसा नहीं हो सकता ही अकॉन को वॉज कॉल्ड अ फ्लेमिंग फायर यू नो यू डू रिमेंबर दैट चैप्टर वेयर अकॉन को एंड अबीरिका दे आर सेटिंग टुगेदर एंड दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम और अकॉन को कह रहा होता है कि मेरे बच्चे जो हैं दे आर नॉट एज स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड एज यू नो दे आर एग्जैक्ट नॉट एग्जैक्टली द वे आई वॉन्ट दैम टू बी और अकॉन को अगैन ब्लेम्स इज वाइफ फॉर द वीकनेस दैट हिज चिल्ड्रेन हैव and oberika he thinks about his uh, uh, you know father akon ko's father wo oberika dil mein sochta hai ki his children kon ko's children have actually more resemblance to their grandfather than the, with their mother to wo yahan pe bhi akon ko bhi yahi soch raha hota hai but he doesn't say it out loud theek hai so us time pe there was mentioned that whenever akon when, whenever akon ko was reminded of his father's Uh, humiliation and his father's weaknesses he would think about his achievements yani ki akon ko achievement yani ki jo uske baap ka usko failure yaad aata tha he would you know automatically think about akon ko's uh, successful you know track and akon ko's successes isse kya hota tha ki akon ko ko thoda sa acha feel hota tha yahan pe bhi the moment his father's thought enters his mind he starts thinking about his own success his own grandeur and whatever you know prosperity and uh, popularity he had enjoyed as a young man he akon ko was called a flaming fire how could uh, he have begotten a woman for a son at the boy's age akon ko had already become famous throughout mofia for his wrestling and his fearlessness he sighed heavily as if in sympathy and as if in sympathy the small drink log also sighed and immediately the conco's eyes were opened and he saw the whole matter clearly living fire begets cold impotent ash he sighed deeply usne kaha nahi mera hi bachcha hai but ye hai ki i am fire but i have given birth to ash asal mein masla ye tha ki the kind of ideology that a conco had it was not very feasible for the next generation and since they didn't agree with the world view that akonko had so they just went their own way and akonko couldn't deal with it because akonko was an authoritarian he was uh, he had this militaristic kind of a view point about him uh, which believed in imposing a certain kind of you know lifestyle a certain kind of um, way of living upon everyone around him so people didn't agree with that and that's why you know uh, he had to face such discord and chaos in his life coming to 
chat radio let me see how slides how many slides are left okay we have 19 slides in total and we are on 11th slide okay in chapter 18 there is this aggression that takes place about aggression you have to read into it okay now there is this uh, conflict okay some some of the converts they go back into the village and they are you know trying to uh, start up a fight uh, with the people and what they are doing they're actually targeting the religion their old religion and they are saying that your religion is basically bogus and it doesn't say anything right and uh, we would you know burn your gods and we would do this and we would do that but um, that conflict it comes to and obviously when people hush it all down okay okay but this is the this is uh, one of the very first uh, transgressions right uh, more will follow but stories were already gaining um, ground and uh, gain, gaining ground that the white man had not only brought a religion but also a government just remember wherever there is a spread of religion there is a government to follow too religion and government they go hand by hand side by side take hand in hand and um they are um also religion is also a very potent tool to control somebody in order to control the masses if you want to control some 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 people the most potent tool that is used that can be used is ideology and since religion is a form of ideology so if you conquer people by a religion, it's, it becomes very easy to conquer them uh, otherwise. Yani ke unke upar control karna and to establish control on them, is, it becomes very, very easy. So obviously, religion aana tha, the government to aani thi. Religion aaya isliye tha ki government aaye. Okay, it was the other way around. Government had to be set up there. So in order to set up a government, they had sent missionaries. Okay, India mein bhi aise hua tha. It was said that they had built a place of judgment in Mofia to protect the followers of their religion. Okay. Kya They had also set up a court. Ab kitne institutions they have erected? They have erected a government. They have erected a court. They have a re or religion ka institution to hai, which is the most important and the most potent form of uh, you know uh, religion uh, institution. It was even said that they had hanged one man who killed a missionary yani ke na sirf unhone apna tarika karna shuru kar diya tha apna court establish kar liya tha balki they were also meeting out judgments ab ye dekhiye uh, in in india too when the uh, east india company it was established uh, to uske jo headquarters the they also demanded uh, soldiers from the british empire i mean they brought in soldiers from the british empire on this on this on this claim that these British people they did not feel safe uh, in India and they needed uh, their own guards they needed their own soldiers in order to protect uh, their headquarters and in order to protect their uh, you know trade and everything so here is the same okay here is the missionaries and all of them protect them they said that we need a court so that you know, if somebody does anything against these missionaries uh, he is or he or she you know they are uh, given the right judgment so isi tarah se aista 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 they are spreading uh, and kind of you know uh, spreading their tentacles uh, into um, into the emofian society there was no question of killing a missionary here for mr kiaga despite his madness was quite harmless Mabanta is different. Okay, in Mabanta, mein things are not uh, very, uh, you know, aggravated right now, and uh, nobody wants to kill Mr. Kiaga and his, um, se kata, missionaries because they believe they, you know, they behave in a very uh, different way. They are very harmless. So, they have not done any One who converts ke saath clash with them, and that was all. As for his converts, no one could kill them without having to flee. Uh, from the clan for in spite of their worthlessness they still belong to the clan and as you guys know uh, the uh, the punishment for killing a person is 
banishment from the clan. So these people, the converts, they were still their brothers, right? They were still their clansmen. So they couldn't kill uh, the 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 Mofian or the the people of Mubanta. They couldn't kill um, the converts because they were still their uh, clansmen. So the same rule applied on uh, those people too. And so nobody gave serious thought to the stories about the white man's government or the consequences of killing the Christians. If they became more troublesome than they already were, uh, than they already were, they would simply be driven out of the clan. Okay? Now these people are still living in the illusion that when we do it, we will take them But this is not the case. This is not how things work, right? Hmm. And then it is mentioned how people in the church they were having their own troubles too okay and now we get to um, uh, have this introduction with osu now who are the osu okay unka kya status hota hai we have been discover, uh, discussing marginalized people for quite a long time now but here we see a complete you know description of 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 these people ठीक है ये आप इनको किसी भी outcast से represent मतलब relate कर सकते हैं in your society too so also कौन होते हैं and how why do they convert to Christianity हम वो क्यों करते हैं this is mentioned here ठीक है so who was an osu he was a person dedicated to a god a thing set apart a taboo forever and his children after Okay, not only that person was a taboo, but also his children. Yani ki uske jo bachche honge, uska pura khandan like it it would be marginalized forever for being an also. He could neither marry nor be married by the freeborn. He was in fact an outcast living in a special area of the village close to the great shrine. Whenever wherever he went, he carried with him the mark of his forbidden caste, long tangled and dirty hair. A razor was taboo to him. Okay. And also could not attend an assembly of the freeborn, and 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 they in turn could not shelter under his um, roof. He could not take any of the four titles of the clan, and when he died, he was buried by his um, kind in the evil forest. How could such a man be a follower? Now, why is this description given of the Osu people? Because one of the Osu or some of the Osu people they convert to Christianity and they go to the church. अब वो चर्च में जाते हैं तो people who have already converted and who belong to the free men they object to uh, you know sitting with these people. तो Mr. Kayaga he says that you shouldn't object to it. अब वो Christianity में convert हो गए हैं so they are all you are all equal and you are you are you, are, you know you are all on the equal uh, par now. But um, these people who were previously you know previously followed the African religion or जो भी था वो they don't agree with it. This shows that the concepts that we have that have been you know um, cultivated in our minds and that have been ingrained uh, you know into our minds by our families and our you know tradition and our society we cannot really uh, get rid of them very very quickly and simply matlab even if we change our religion even if we change our ideology we would still be tilting towards the um, same old bias uh, that we have for a certain thing. It's ju it just cannot be rooted out in one day. Okay? So what happens to Mr. Kiyaga? Unless you shave off the mark of your heathen belief, I will not admit you into the church. He says that first of all, you have to shave everything, you have to shave your hair, and you have to shave um, uh, your hair in order to tell people that shaving your hair doesn't mean that you would um, you would be struck dead. ठीक है उनका यही कहना था, उनका यही मानना था कि if they cut their hair, they will be struck dead और वो कोई बहुत बड़ा गुनाह कर देंगे या इस तरह से तो सबसे पहले कि आगे ने कहा कि you fear that you will die, why should that be? How are you different from other men who shave their hair? The same God created you and them, but they have cast you out like lepers. It is against the will of God who has promised everlasting life to all who believe in His holy name. The heathen you say you the heathen say you will die if you do this or that, and you are afraid. They also said I would die if I built my church on this ground. Am I dead? 
they said I would die if I took care of the twin, uh, took care of twins. I'm still alive. The heathens speak. Um, the heathens speak uh, nothing but falsehood. Only the word of our God is true. ठीक है तो उसको कहते हैं कि you need to shave your hair. Or shaving of their heads is highly the highly turning point for these people's belief system. It dismantles the superstitions and makes them even more bold to question their previous religion and custom. यानी कि वो वो भी जब shave कर दिया तो और जब evil forest में भी वो रह रहे हैं there are all these things that point towards the falsity of their Uh, you know uh, belief system और फिर ज़्यादा ज़्यादा उसके बाद और ज़्यादा लोग कन्वर्ट होना शुरू हो जाते हैं right now another thing that we have to keep in mind is that um, once these people they convert to Christianity ठीक है and you must be you must realize that the for these people who were highly marginalized and were treated as क्या उसे कहते हैं लाइक दे आर ट्रीटेड एज आउटकास्ट एंड दे आर बेसिकली यू नो स्पिट दे आर बेसिकली स्पैक वन बाय एवरी वन एंड दे आर बेसिकली यू नो डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड अगेंस्ट सो मच आप ये देखें कि फॉर दीज पीपल यू नो बींग एक्सेप्टेड एज एज अ नॉर्मल पर्सन एज एन इक्वल पर्सन इन टू अ न्यू सोसाइटी इट मस्ट बी सो अपलिफ्टिंग एंड सो लाइफ चेंजिंग है ना मतलब कि आप देखें कि आपने पूरी ज़िंदगी एक 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 डिस्क्रिमिनेशन uh, सही है एंड यू हैव बिन यू हैव बिन बुलेट यू हैव बिन मिस ट्रीटेड यू हैव बिन कास्ट आउट यू आर नॉट एबल टू स्पीक फॉर योर राइट्स यू डोंट हैव एनी राइट्स और आपको एक अजीब तरह से ट्रीट किया जा रहा है अचानक से एवरी थिंग इज़ टेकन अवे एंड यू आर ट्रीटेड एज अ रिस्पेक्टेबल मैन एन इक्वल मैन ठीक है टू एवरी वन अराउंड यू एन इक्वल पर्सन टू एवरी वन अराउंड यू तो आप किस तरह से आप बिहेव करेंगे आप तो बहुत लाइक यू वुड लाइक यू वुड फील सो स्ट्रेंज फॉर अ वाइल एंड देन यू वुड स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली ट्राई टू यू नो अडेप्ट न्यू लाइफ स्टाइल एंड आफ्टर अडेप्टिंग द न्यू लाइफ स्टाइल द हेटर्ड दैट यू विल हैव फॉर द प्रीवियस कल्चर दैट मेड यू गो थ्रू ऑल दिस यू नो ऑल दिस ह्यूमिलिएशन ऑल दिस पेन एंड मिजरी That hated would be so much. यानी कि वो उस हेटेड का कोई कोई उसको इक्वल नहीं कर सकता ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ पर्सन सजे आप नबोए को ले रहे हैं इफ़ ही ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड टू क्रिस्टानिटी ठीक है बट ही विल नॉट एज एंटेगनिस्टिक टू द एफ्रीकन रिलीजन बिकॉज ही वॉज अ प्रिवलेज पर्सन राइट हिज फादर वॉज रिच ठीक है और वो आराम से जिंदगी गुजार रहा था गुरबत भी नहीं थी कुछ भी नहीं था सो ही ओनली कन्वर्टेड टू Christianity because he thought that it was more more peaceful, not because it didn't give him any status or anything. Okay, the previous society didn't give him any status or the recognition that he demanded, or um, you know, anything like that. यहाँ पे आप देखिए कि in this case these people were totally uh, you know marginalized in their society. Totally uh, you know they 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 were met with the brutal, the most brutal kind of treatment from their society. So when these people convert to Christianity, the hatred that they they will have for the previous religion and the people of the previous religion would would be, uh, it it would be a very heightened one, okay? And it would be a very fierce one, okay? So you have to keep that in mind. Because these people, uh, the behavior that these people will uh, you know exhibit later on and from now on uh, will be indicative of that. अब देखिए कि one of these people जो है वो ये हरकत करता है कि ही डज समथिंग इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवोक हिज प्रीवियस यू नो क्लैंसमैन या जो कि लोग थे उधर के वॉट डज यू डू ही किल्स द सेक्रेड पाइथॉन ना वट्स यू नो वाई इज अ पाइथॉन कंसिडर्ड सेक्रेड इन दिस सोसाइटी वो तो उनको ही पता होगा ठीक है ये उनके रिलीजियस बिलीव है बट दे दैट पाइथॉन इट्स कंसिडर टू बी सेक्रेड इन दिस सोसाइटी and what does this person do he goes and kills it theek hai ab aap yahan pe dekhiye ke he kills that python and obviously it was an intentional thing to do he knew it he knew that it would enrage his you know uh, his his clansmen usko pata tha aur he did it in order to provoke them because he wanted to sort of you know take some kind of revenge personal vendetta you know आप ये देखिए कि ये हर जगह होता है अक्सर लोग लोगों की रिलीजस बुक्स जला देते हैं 
ठीक है पीपल हुव कन्वर्टेड टू अदर रिलीजन और पीपल हुव यू नो ऑल टूगेदर लेफ्ट द रिलीजन वाई डू द डू दैट मतलब उनको किसी पाइथन का मार मारना या किसी किताब को जलाना अगर जिस किताब पर वो यकीन ही नहीं करते उसके ऊपर उसको जलाना या उसको करना उससे तो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता बट वट दे वॉन्ट टू डू इज दैट दे वॉन्ट टू प्रोवोक द पीपल बिकॉज दैट्स द काइंड ऑफ हेटेड दे हैव फॉर फॉर द पीपल हु हैव यू नो पीपल हु हैव मार्जनलाइज एंड पीपल हु हैव मिस ट्रीटेड दैम फॉर सो लॉन्ग तो यहाँ पर वही हरकत करता है उसको उनको उसको गुस्सा होता है इन लोगों के ऊपर एंड दैट इज़ अ वेरी नेचुरल थिंग टू डू इसीलिए दैट इज इट इज़ वेयर इट ऑल कम्स डाउन यू नो टू दिस पॉइंट दैट अ हायर आर्टिकल सोसाइटी नेवर बेनिफिट्स एनी वन ठीक है एंड स्पेशली द पीपल हु आर एट द मार्जिन पीपल हु आर एट द वेरी लोएस्ट यू नो कैटेगरी ऑफ दैट हायर आर्टी दे सफ़र अलॉट एंड वैन दे यू नो वैन दे गेट अप वैन दे राइज अप दैन दे आर रूथ लेस इन देर इन देर इन दर रेवोल्यूशन ठीक है एंड अगर हम उसको मार्क्सिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से देखा देखा जाए तो ऑल द थिंग्स दैट दे आर डूइंग दे आर डूइंग द राइट थिंग दे हैव बीन डिप्राइव ऑफ एवरी थिंग ऑल देयर लाइफ सो इट इज़ ओनली राइट दैट दे डू वट दे वॉन्ट टू डू एंड दे टेक रिवेंज हाउ एवर दे कैन यू नो टेक इट बट ऑल द सेम द रूलर्स एंड एल्डर्स ऑफ मुबारा असम्बल टू डिसाइड ऑन देयर एक्शन मैनी ऑफ दैम स्पोक एट लेंथ एंड इन फ्यूरी द स्पिरिट्स ऑफ वॉर स्पिरिट ऑफ वॉर्स वॉर वॉर्स वॉज अपॉन दैम अकॉन को हु हैड बिगन टू प्ले अ पार्ट इन द अफेयर्स ऑफ हिस्स मदर लैंड सेट दैट अनटिल द अबोमिनेबल गैंग वॉज चेंज आउट ऑफ द विलेज विद विप्स देर वुड बी नो पीस ठीक है तो अकॉन को अकॉर्डिंग टू हेम ही थिंग्स दैट दे वुड बी कम्प्लीटली बैनिश्ड यू नो द होल क्रिश्चन ग्रुप शुड बी बैनिश्ड All right. So, um, and th- then they reach this decision that it is not in their religion to fight for their gods. Because they say, "Okay, we say that it's not right to do this. It's not right to, um, you know, take any step on part of their gods. Because if their if their gods want to do anything, they can do it on their own. It's not right." <coughs> and a conco a conco is obviously he's disgusted by all this he wants people to take you know um take a take a uh, action take direct action let us not reason like cowards if a man comes into my hut and defecates on the floor what do i do do i shut my eyes no i take a stick and break his head this is what a man does um All right. So um, basically, a concourse of the view that this is not the right conduct, and they should be, um, uh, you know, more. They should be more um, active while pursuing, you know, persuading these people to go out, and they should basically take help from action. But the other clansmen, the people of Mubanta, they don't really believe in it. Take it. Or, फिर क्या होते हैं? The clansmen decide to take the transgressors a lesson. Uh, sorry, teach the transgressors a lesson, but they eventually don't have to take any such measures because the culprit dies a natural death before anything uh, can be done. Right? A coolie was not there to answer. He had fallen ill in the previous night. B- before the day was over, he was dead. His death showed that the gods uh, were still able to fight their own battles. The clan uh, saw no reason then. for molesting the christians okay so this is this is what uh, happens and this is how they decide that they need to kind of um, you know let things go and uh, the gods are you know clearly very very angry and they have taken revenge for the sacred python and things like that so is me um this is how they um uh this is how they manage and they how they react to this whole colonization and how they react to this this kind of increase in the um uh, in the colonial power conco's ex- uh, exile comes to an end and he gives a big farewell feast in um, honor of the clansmen from his mother's side so this is how chapter sorry part 2 and hope you guys understand it 
and um, if you have any questions you can ask me.